Welcome to the Racing Islands. Well gone everybody. I hope everything's good. Before we begin, I just want to give a shout out to everybody that has subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate that. Much appreciated. I'm sure you could have been doing something better with your time, but you're here listening to me, so I say bless up. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. Then I want to say big up to wonderful F1 channel. He has been going through some stuff with YouTube. I just want to say big up yourself, my brother. Keep the faith and stay strong. Well, it must be clear now, Mercedes is officially a midfield team. I can already hear the fans of the team. How could you say that? But following the results of the Japanese Grand Prix, P7 for George Russell, P9 for Lewis Hamilton. Could you blame anybody for thinking that? It must be said, the fifth best team right now. They've lost their way completely and they are completely useless at this point. They can't seem to find a good baseline to work from because the car they have built is very sensitive. The feeling changes and varies from one corner to the next. Another year, another car disaster. People thought that James Allison would have gotten on top of the situation by now or at least cured the tire sensitivity but that did not happen. No James Allison magic this time around. James needs more time but the more time they take the more they ruin Lewis Hamilton's legacy bit by bit while Red Bull over there racking up easy wins with no one to challenge them. We all thought after the 2021 Abu Dhabi robbery Mercedes were going to come back in 2022 and give Lewis a car capable of giving Red Bull a run for their money. Instead we got three years of rubbish cars in every season. We were hoping that in Lewis Hamilton's final year with the team they would be challenging for a few wins then everybody could part ways with no hard feelings. That is not the case. Well in this case from this point on anything said by the Mercedes team is just PR talk. You can't believe them and can't be suckered into believing anything they say. Well, until we see the results on the track. I am just going to phase out all this talk. That's all we've been getting recently. Just talk. Talk about how they found this and they found that. Then it turns out you are just talking a load of rubbish. You did not find anything really. The more this spirals downwards, the more frustrated Lewis will be. When they finally part ways, it won't be amicable and all the respect gained between the two will be no more. If it continues like this, they will ruin a lot more drivers' career. Is there a way back to the front of the grid for Mercedes? Because if you ask me, if you don't know what you are doing, how are you going to fix the problems? How could anyone believe you when your stories keep changing? How could anyone believe you when all you do is just talk? Talking is not going to make this car go any faster. Do your talking on the track. As usual, this has been the Racing Islands. Please like, share and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section.